Today we're going to be building this PDF viewer. So you can take any PDF and view it on your website. So you can see that it works like this. It's just very simple. And then you can flip through all the pages and this number up here refreshes. So it's a very simple viewer. You could obviously have done the CSS nicer than this, but this is not really what this tutorial is about. This is how you get the PDF on the website. Let's get right into the code. So the HTML looks like this. I'm not going to go over it in detail, but it looks like this. And the CSS looks like this. Also not going to go in details, but I will go in details with the code. So the first line we're doing is just a URL to a PDF. So you could have like gotten this from a URL parameter, which probably wouldn't be a better way of doing it. But since it's just an example, it's going to work fine with just a variable here. Then we have an instantly instantiated function because we're working with asynchronous code. Now this line specifies the worker source. Um, not completely sure on what this does, but it has to be there. So just put it there. The next thing here is that we are telling PDFJS to get that URL. And then it's very important if you're working with asynchronous awake that you do dot promise. You can also do dot then, and then it will work like a normal dot then syntax. But if you're working with asynchronous and await keyword, then you have to do dot promise. But this will give you the document. Next here, we're just defining a few properties. We are setting the min page that is one. So the starting page is one in JS PDF and the minimum page is one. So you can't go to page zero. The maximum page is the, just the number of pages and the current page we're starting on is just page one. This function I will right later but essentially it takes the document and whatever page it should go to which in this case is the current page next here we are updating the page count so we're updating this property here then we have an event on the previous button so when you press that button we will run this code so we're just checking if current pages is bigger than the minimum just so we can't go to page zero and below then tracking one from the current page and then we're refreshing the number here and then it's just the same event for the next button here. It's just reversed. So it adds one and then it just checks that it's not the current page is not bigger than the max page. And this get page function here and it takes the document and page number. Then it just checks that that is not out of range. Then what it does is it goes on the document and it gets that page with that number. Then it returns it here. Then we set the, on that page, we set the viewport scale to 1.5. And then we're preparing the canvas. So you can see we have a canvas right here. And this is actually what's displaying the PDF. So we're getting the reference to the canvas, we're then getting the context of that canvas, then we are setting the width and the height of that canvas to the same as the viewport, and then we are returning the rendered version of that PDF with the canvas context, that's a context, and the viewport as the viewport, and then we're doing dot promise because we're returning this as a promise. Else, we're just printing out this error message here. And that is essentially the code. It's not that complicated to get this working. So obviously a lot of the code would go into actually styling this nicely because it doesn't really look that nice as of right now. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.